Bro, this is what happens when you go to the grocery store late at night. All look, show them what's in the basket that's not supposed to be in we the basket. We had turkey though. We had yeah. turkey. Hey, but... you get turkey 93% lean, but this a bar dark chocolate. This is not allowed. I'm putting it in the freezer. I don't have anything that I'm not supposed to have. I can't wait! I don't have an addiction to um, holiday pumpkin spice creamers and peppermint mocha creamers and coffee creamers. I'm okay. Butterfinger baking bits. Anything cookie and Butterfinger. Okay, so my epic meal, my cheat meal that I'm picturing in my head is a donut hamburger with crushed cookies and what else did I say? ice cream and y'all I just my cravings are getting for real what doesn't belong in my head right now the turkey right I mean, good morning I am at the Houston gym this morning going to get my posing practice on with uh, Miss Kimberly Shepard she's absolutely been so amazing with me I think more than like the working out the posing is harder like I could work out fine and lift weights totally fine but like learning the art of posing is crazy so i have seriously true respect for what these posing coaches do it's insane and no matter how many layers of concealer i put i still look like i'm dead we're like less than four weeks out so i know that my face is starting to like get sunken in and my body fat is like so low so like when it's cold i'm like freezing but my muscles are looking good my abs are looking good so i can't really complain about my face <laughs> i have my food packed for the day this beautiful six pack ab bag right here i don't know it carries three meals and i put my water this is how you know it's real about to show y'all right now. This is how you pack. Are you ready? Ah. I don't go anywhere without my hot sauce. It's just, just unaccept. It's just unacceptable. And I'm also dressed in like normal people clothes, kind of, sorta, because um, after posing practice, I'm gonna go get my roots done and my hair. Because look at this. This is bad. This is so bad. I am. I'm so not high maintenance. Sometimes I can be. Sometimes but not in a crazy way, but I like getting like my hair, my nails done that isn't like fun for me. Like I hate sitting there. I actually worked in the salon forever. So just the whole environment, like I just, I don't like it. I, I'm not patient enough. Like when I get my nails done, I give them my hands and I'm like, and they're like, are you okay, honey? Relax, relax. And I'm like, just, just don't give me the massage. Don't give me, just, just do what I gotta do so I can get out of here. Cause this is, this is too much. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's like, I'm the girliest tomboy ever. Like I do hair and I do makeup and I'm in the beauty industry, but like I fish, I hunt, I lift weights. Like that, that's me. So sometimes I like to be pampered like that, but then other times I'm just like, ah, I'll go cause I need it. I'm a little early. That's why I'm kind of like just ranting on my camera right now but y'all know I'm early to everything. <laughs> so that um, banana, not banana, I love anything peanut butter. So like the peanut butter cookie that y'all saw in the last footage, it just had to come home with me. But now it's like every time I open my uh, freezer to get my broccoli or something, I'm like, mm, cookie. So I had to like hide it from myself in my, in my freezer. And then the pumpkin spice, like whipped cream topping, I had to hide that behind some like other stuff too, because I was like, if I see it, three weeks is going to sound, or less than four weeks is going to sound even longer when I know that like I have a treat waiting for me. It was, but I could not like cravings are getting serious. I was walking around the grocery store, like staring at the cookie aisle like staring and craving things that like i don't even really crave on like a normal basis so like that's why i do so many like flavored aminos flavored stevias because like anything at this point just tastes amazing <laughs> but it's still not sugar i guess i'll go inside now So like 
I said, I came and got my hair done, and of course I'm leaving with it wet because y'all know where I'm going next, and it's the gym. But this is Orlando. Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> this is this is the guy who keeps my hair looking on fleek. I know that my Snapchat family, my Instagram, y'all are always asking me who does my hair, so I figured I would introduce my YouTube fam to him. <laughs> if you are in Houston, you gotta come check him out. He's the Orlando Salon. I'll put all this information down below. Yes, I'm excited to see every one of you guys. She doesn't need much help, but I tried to do something. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, check out, what are these called? Boxer curls? Boxer girls? braids. Boxer, see, I didn't even know braids had names. Boxer braids, so he's got me hooked up with that. I, I, I did that, because now I feel like like a boxer, right? <laughs> it looks good, like here. I'll hold it, turn around. Look at that. Boxer braids, they're so popular right now, especially if you work out as much as she does right now. That's it. I had to do my little <laughs> I'm like, I don't think a boxer does that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm gonna have all this stuff down below so you can check out his little handsome self and oh. check out his work. So, see you in the next clip. See you soon. <laughs> These are currently my favorite seasonings for my turkey at the moment. This is a chupacabra rub or however you wanna say that. It's really good. And then I get the slap your mama. It's a Cajun one, but I always get the extra hot one. This is my fun pancake <laughs> maker. I'm really excited to show y'all my favorite breakfast. So I use, um, currently with my meal plan, it's two egg whites and a cup of oats, which kind of changes um, as my prep goes on. And then I put a little bit of ISO splash and this is Banana Foster. We, let's be real, we put a whole bunch of that in there. And then we blend it all up. And because the pan is little, you have to kind of cook one side and then have an, like another pan kind of like handy. That way when you flip it over, it can cook the other side. This is what a failed attempt looks like. And I burnt it. But once you get used to it, they turn out so beautiful and cute looking. Usually my menu like makes like three with my portions. So there you have my cute piggies. And my favorite chicken is pesto. And this is already kind of pre-made. I kind of cheated. These are pre-seasoned. But as far as my tilapia, I use the Slapia Mama Extra Hot and sometimes lemon pepper. And to make breakfast more interesting, this is kind of how I do my egg whites. With no oatmeal, I kind of just, you know, make little fun cupcake ones. And I always use Pam in the coconut oil just for, it's a little bit cleaner, but I'm showing you that I've got two whole eggs and then two egg whites and I just buy the H-E-B brand. And then so that they kind of fill out a little bit more, I put a little bit of this baking powder. And then I think I'm gonna go with turquoise. You guys, food coloring has been my best friend lately just because it makes food more exciting than it really is. And then in these, I'm gonna go ahead and use the ISO Splash and Birthday Cake. And we're gonna put a whole bunch in there because it really just tastes like sweet bread. It's so good. And there you have the mixture. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just start dipping them into these little cupcake pans. And then these, once again, are the piggies from the beginning. But this time I really wanted, I had it in my head that I wanted pink birthday cake strawberry pancakes. But it ended up looking like a murder scene. Same process, you just kind of flip them, put them on the heat. And that one just looks like it got its brains gushed out, no big deal. It happens. <laughs> My fish smells so good. It's ready. Take it out of the pan. I like blackened fish, so I always leave it a little bit longer. It just gives it a better taste. And these are my tortured pigs. Oh, I use um, Walden Farm strawberry syrup. It's zero everything. It's calorie free. I kind of just use like a teaspoon or so, and I'm just going to drizzle them on these poor pigs. Now they look like murdered pigs. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> look how, look, come here. Look how scared they look. look Slaughtered. Look face. <laughs> Pretty much it. These are what the muffins look like for my breakfast in the morning. I um, really enjoyed my murdered piggies. And yeah, that's about it. Let me know down below if you want more food 
fun food recipes that are prep friendly. Bye guys!